Hey everybody, it's Kiwi Tom playing B-Side. Um, I haven't played Mario in about three weeks and I thought, what better way to warm up than play by playing one of the hardest levels ever made? Or at least sort of hardest legitimate level. That's like, not meant to be evil, just meant to be hard. You understand what I'm trying to say. Last time I made it this far and um, there's something I'm slightly worried about. Uh, if you remember way back like two months ago when I played the first room of B-Side, came across a problem that if you die 256 times the level actually resets so I suspect at some point in this recording uh, the entire level will reset but I placed a little safety save state here because it's an unintentional bug although it's hilarious that this level is built in such a way whoa, whoa hold on progress can't talk whoa I don't know what I'm meant to do <laughs> I don't know what I'm meant to do because it's b-side and that's the way it works have to go a bit higher there um yeah so if that happens and the level resets i will just reload the save but it is it is pretty funny what am i supposed to do here oh that's what i'm supposed to do i'm supposed to bounce on a bullet then bounce on the shell uh this is um this is the revelation i just had um but yeah i'm going to continue playing yump uh Rauka has now finished playing yump as far as i'm aware although i know nothing oh so you can fall through those eye things the eye blocks um, it's good to remember. I didn't even remember. I just rediscovered it. Um, yeah, so Rocco's finished Yump, and I heard he had a really bad time on some levels. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Come on, bullet. Oh, wow, I have to hop in the shell, then grab onto that... Uh, I have to grab onto that, that rope, but I'm wondering if I grab onto the rope in the right place, like, could I activate that glitch where you infinite climb and, and skip the rest of the level? I'd imagine Anonymous Bloodlust thought of that, but I really hope he didn't. You know, it'd be great if I could just sort of crawl through the air for the rest of the level. Um, I am going to give this two hours. This, uh, And I hope to get through at least one room. Now, I think there's five or six rooms, and this is the second one. But two hours would be, I think... What on earth happened there? I think it'd be really good uh, to get back in the groove of Super Mario World physics uh, by playing in uh, the, the ASMT world, Demos world. Um, I also remember that ASMT, I was playing that and then at some point in World 4 I stopped for some reason, I think because Yump came out. There was a break of some sort and if Yump gets too hard I may alternate between ASMT and Yump just so content keeps coming out. Content will remain regular, you know, because work, but um, there won't be giant hiatuses anymore. Uh, I have moved house. I can now record on occasional weekdays where it used to be impossible. In principle, I haven't practiced it yet. Man, please, let go of the run button. See, these levels here, this level here is a finger puzzle. Damn it. So, uh, let me tell you what I'm doing. Um, first bullet, not holding anything. Second bullet, holding something. <laughs> See, if you... Ah, oh, the level restarted. See, if you die 256 times, and I'd already had a bunch of deaths built up from dying in room number one. This is the intro to B-Side. It's amazing, especially with this music. And then uh, you get warped in with the lightning. Let's just revisit this. Um... The lightning didn't appear, or maybe it didn't, I forgot. And then you're back here. Do you remember all this? I vaguely remember this. I know I struggled at it for hours, but I did beat it. And I wish, you know, I wish it wasn't months ago when I rebid it, because it'd be real impressive if I could beat it again, just on the fly. Like, no, I tried. But the level is genuinely reset right now, so I have to load my save state. Whoops! <laughs> Perfect. Um, yeah. That's unfortunate. But it means that we can actually work out exactly how many deaths I've had in this level so far. If I count the number of deaths it takes to get to that reset. Damn it. I do see that there are three bullets that appeared, but the first time I grabbed the green shell, I only needed two of them. Yeah, not the green shell, the green springy thing. The springy sproing. I only needed two bullets. Damn, no, let go of the run button. And let go of the jump button, but hold the jump button again when you actually land on the green springy thing. And then re-hold the run button so you can make it over to the shell. What am I even doing? By the way, what game... Um, what game are we playing? What game are the graphics from? 
for this level and where's the music from did someone post that in the a2mt thread so i actually cannot remember man oh speaking of asmt uh there was a little project on the talk house that made it so asmt is now entirely compatible for the real super nintendo so you can play on either accurate emulators or on the real console you can play the entire asmt like if you put it on a cartridge it will work and i think the same author or the same uh, project leader who accomplished that is going to try to do the same with a2mt oh progress can't speak anymore wow okay so it looks like i have to let go of the jump button and the maybe the run button to bounce on that shell on time that is incredible oh or maybe not kick it as fast maybe if i stop and kick it i'll have more time because if the, the shell i think you can impart momentum to the shell um whoa hey i think you can impart momentum to the shell maybe this is not an easy level <laughs> who the, the thought um yeah so i may eventually go quiet and then just start editing and um every time you see every time i get to like the game resetting uh, I'll like edit that in or something or we can count them and we can work out how many times I've died Because it's hilarious that I've died so many times that the game like there's a an integer overflow somewhere <laughs> And the game breaks that's it's a A testament to my skill, but also a it's a testament to my patience as well. I think it, it, I, If I have one virtue, it's it's my patience I have a lot of it We'll see if jump breaks me though. Maybe uh, you'll get my first swear when uh, jump comes back. Whoops. I'll have to learn off the, uh, all the swear words in the Irish language. That's what I need to do. So the levels, the game, the channel is still family friendly to most of the world. Damn it! I, I need to let go of the run button. Uh, oh, on two other things, um, I did a little sound test. Oh. I did a little sound test and I noticed that a lot. Of <laughs> Damn it, stupid thing. Well, let's. Next time we'll count. I did a sound test uh, and it sounds like a lot of the white noise from the mic is gone. I swapped the cables between the, the pad and the mic. They use the same cable type, USB something. <laughs> sure, I'm technical. Um. Um. I remember when I first bought the microphone. Uh. I realized that the cable for the microphone was way longer than it needs to be but the cable for my joypad was way smaller than I wanted it to be so I swapped them around and I, I now realized that was a mistake uh, because I think the, it was the, the cable for the mic was designed for the mic uh, it fits better and everything so I think there should be in principle a lot less white noise now and the controller might even work better now that I'm using the cable intended for the controller like, I thought USB cables were supposed to be sort of standard, but now I'm learning that half of them are rubbish and the other half of them are uh, also rubbish, but occasionally they work. I uh, hope you enjoy the first three or four screens of this level, because that's what you've been watching for the last few minutes, which I haven't realised. <sighs> hey, it's good to be back. Should try using the three bullets. Um, um, well, I have to move over far enough to spawn them all. Let's try that. Let's try better. Hmm. I wonder if it's designed that you can just sort of. If I don't bump my head, can you just naturally bounce on the three of them without holding the jump button? I think it might be designed that way actually. Let's, uh, if I stand directly underneath the springy spring. I was hoping demo would automatically hit the green thing. Let's try again. Let's try again but better. Better please. I have to like barely hold the jump button first but second. Yeah, it might even work. I'll try it a few more times and I'll edit it in if it works and I'll edit all this out if it doesn't work. Damn it. Because with editing, you can get rid of hypocrisy. It's called censorship. Whoops. Oh. Let's 
Yeah, that's, I think that's how it's designed to work. I just have to then perfect it. So, one, two, oh. Uh, I also need to make sure all the shells spawn. Um, the shells, the bullets. I'm forgetting the names of things now. Yeah, that, that works. I just have to remember to rehold the, uh, the, the run button really quickly. Like, I'm not holding it there. Because otherwise I'll grab the green springy thing. Oh! oh I missed the rope! Demo, you gotta grab onto the rope when you see the rope! These level, these rooms are really long, right? Whoa! What am I supposed to do? Uh, we need to pause next time or something. Progress! Oh, come on. No, oh, I bunked my head. Hey, I'm making progress or something. What? This soon? I'm only playing for 10 minutes or so. Yeah. I need to grab it and jump off like lickety split. Is that even a phrase? Okay, well. Ah, reset. Whoa, that wasn't supposed to happen. No. Well, I fell through all the death blocks and fell into the water. No, no, no. Remember, you can fall through the eyes. No, you have to jump off, Demo. Oh, wow. Okay, so you have to sort of swerve around and wait for those black blocks to disappear. Let's see if I can demonstrate it. No. But you get the idea. Oh, Demo, you clipped onto it and everything. Oh, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you see that? So obviously the rope was gliding along one of eight blocks, but there was like a huge torrent of water. That is incredible. Like it looks visually really impressive. You know, like it was surprising. And like, I know I'm getting stuck on the same room forever, but it's a lot of fun, you know? I'm gonna have to jump off of that rope really quickly or do jump on it twice or something to get up to the green springy thing or is the green springy uh, hmm. is the green springy thing positioned in such a way that I'd warp down the screen I don't think so I don't think so I don't think this level requires knowledge of obscure glitches not that the green springy thing glitches obscure to the sort of people who play Super Mario World Rum Hacks, but, you know. Oh, hey. Come on, work out what we gotta do. Uh, hello? <laughs> I didn't know what to say. So the water sort of chases you. It's sort of like a... How do you do backwards scrolling? Auto scrolling or whatever, or maybe it's not actually backwards auto scrolling because I'm going backwards. Anyway, um, wow, it's really impressive. Obviously. Hey, birdies, how's it going? You have to jump off faster, demo. Oh, man, bunk, bunk, grab, jump. Damn it, boing, kick. Bunk, bunk, grab, jump. Missed. Oh, the water came from the wrong direction. Whoa, game. The game did like a double reset or something. Yeah. 
yeah, it sort of comes from the other direction for a moment. There's a bit of, a bit of DL wrap around there. That is really difficult. Um, what I'm doing wrong is that I'm holding up there when I'm jumping to grab straight onto the rope, when in fact I should be trying to jump as high as I can before I hit the rope. Ah, I've done another restart. No. Gotta aim that jump a bit better. Uh, back here again. So now I should reveal something. I have had a scary revelation. Um, so let's say eventually I beat this room. The amount of death between, um, you know, that are left before the game resets can only get smaller. Every time I beat a room, there will be less deaths between reaching the 255 or 256 limit. Um, so I may get to the stage where after every single death I have to reload state, which would be super annoying. Uh, so I may end up requesting for those of you out there who are super good at modifying the Super Mario World ROM hack. Like if I link my save file and the IPS patch in the description, could someone possibly modify them so that that counter isn't incrementing? Because you know, let's say uh, the game resets and then after 10 tries, I make it through. That's 10 less tries I have before the game will reset again, you know? It's a problem. Unless there's some, like... My only savior would be if this devil has an actual midpoint in it, but I don't think it does. Um, because there's no, like, world map to return to or anything. Um, so... Yeah, yeah, that's, that's my revelation. I'm not happy about it. I've been performing worse since I realized this. Man, that bit is actually really hard for, for no reason. Hey, birds. Man, it is really difficult to get off that rope fast enough. Okay, um, I'm going to actually make an effort to count how many deaths, so I don't have to do it during editing. One, two, twenty-five, twenty-six. Only twenty-six? That's not good. Twenty-six deaths. Oh. Twenty-six happens really quickly. Wow, you have to get really high up on that rope. I don't know how I did, did it the first time. Oh. Oh, I got confused for a second by the broken white line. Oh no, I bumped my head. Alright, I am... Um, I understand that bit. Well, I mean, I understood it all along, but I'm implementing what I understand. So I'll explain in a second. There we go. Whoa. And then what am I supposed to do? Um, so when I get to the rope, I'm trying to get up running speed and then doing like a big jump around, but I'm doing my very best not to hold the up button. And only tapping the up button once I've sort of gone up and around in this direction, like so. And then it seems to work out much better. So now, th so the first and setting second obstacle are fairly consistent-ish. So it, it, it works sometimes more often than not. And the second obstacle with the shell hop is getting more consistent. I say as I keep on fumbling. Now I have to get the third obstacle consistent and then the fourth one and then hopefully there's no more than like five or six. We'll see. Man, why am I holding the run button now? Go up and jump and bounce. Come on. Oh no. I have to get through that little gap. But yeah, I think when I get there, I'll make it up way more often than I used to. Like I only made it up once and I didn't make it up for ages. And now I think I'll get up maybe 50% of the time if I reach there. Yeah, look at that. 
Whoa, 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 that's all water. The game's doing a double reset. Um, I was a bit confused on which direction to go. There was a direction with loads and loads of blocks, but like, I'd die. Maybe I have to go up? I'm not really sure. Whoa, I missed the shell. I missed the shell, guys. Thanks for jumping, Demo. It was totally my fault, it wasn't the controller. Oh, double reset. No. Green springy thing. Wow, I missed. Missed again. In a different sort of way. Well, I'm getting a lot of double resets when the water starts. Wow, I, re I actually really have to go through there? Because um, I tried to swim up the little waterfall and it didn't really work. No! Oh no, you didn't kick it the right way. Alright, I have to hold the jump button there and then I think it will work. I just have to remember to hold it. So I can't pause and press it. Can I pause? Good time to test. No, I can't pause now. Oh no, please. Come on. I'm not doing that bit right. Oh, there was a pipe. Yeah, I held the room button. Okay, um, and then I think if I go in that pipe, I finish the room. Maybe, in principle. There's probably some other sneaky obstacle though, just before that. Oh no, it's hard to sort of control that. But okay. okay here. No, get up. No, get up. demo. What are you doing, demo? You're stuck in the water. Whoa! I got a double reset. Whoa! Whoa, I got a double reset out of the reset room? Does this mean I'm re-re-re-reset to like 256 deaths? Because that would be amazing. We'll find out. We will find out, Demo. What I'm actually going to do is, if I remember how to do it, place state here and this might be a 256er we'll see well 255 now good enough need to hold the jump button i forgot oh went too far oh what am i doing oh no hold the jump button don't let go of it i let go of it like mid walk off there Oh, I jumped too early, but I can make it to the pipe. There's no tricks or anything. I just have to be faster than the wall of water. And in the pipe, get in the pipe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I made it to a new room. I did. I'm going to drown. Demo. <sighs> Don't be broken. Um, what I need to do is wait for drowning and reappearing. And I need to save. There we go. So state 9 saved. And I'm also going to... Come on. Go. There we go. Oh, I wish I could pause it in a real... I can, I kind of, I can do that. Okay. Firstly, it's amazing that the game glitched out its own glitch and reset the 256 counter thing. That was a miracle. And I beat another room in B-side. I think that is sufficient training to go back and to play, uh, to play Yump. What do you think? I think that's enough. I think I can play Yump again.
to jump straight into world six and get to it. Whew, it's going to be hard to edit. See you all later.